The story I'm going to read is called The Great Gracie Chase. Stop that dog! By Cynthia Ryland and Mark Teague. And here is our title page. Now, before it said by Cynthia Ryland and Mark Teague, but now it's going to tell us a little more information. It says the title, and then down here it says, by Cynthia Ryland, so she is the author, illustrated by Mark T. And I wanted to show you this page and read it. At the top, and I know you can't see the words real well because it's tiny, but remember I said sometimes an author and an illustrator will dedicate their book to somebody or make a special mention of somebody in their book. It says to Bonnie and Robbie from CR, that's Cynthia Ryland, and to Ava from MT, and that's Mark T. That may be the author and illustrator some special children in their life. All right, here we go. Once there was a little round dog named Gracie Rose. She was a very good dog and she helped the bigger dog watch the house. She kept the kitty company and she even sang to the fish when it was lonely. You see, Gracie loved a quiet house. She loved the kitty sleeping on the windowsill, the big dog sleeping on the couch, the quiet fish going plop, plop. For Gracie, a quiet home was the best home. Gracie Rose was good every single day of her life, except for one, the day the painters came. Gracie Rose, she's sleeping with her family or keeping watch over her sleeping family. Gracie did not like painters, but she did not know this until the day they came to her house. Now, usually when a painter comes to your house, they're coming to either paint the inside walls or paint the outside walls if you live in a wooden house or you live in a house that's not sided with vinyl or brick, sometimes your walls and your, your outside needs painted. So you call a painter. But Gracie, she didn't like the painters. So when they arrived one day to paint Gracie's kitchen, she didn't like it. Here they came in a big, noisy truck. And what did Gracie like her house to be? Quiet. She liked the quiet. There they were at the door with their clangy ladders and big person voices. There they were dragging chairs across Gracie's quiet kitchen floor. Gracie Rose watched them with her ears straight up in the air, and she was not happy. She barked and barked and told them to go outside. But do you know what? Gracie was put outside. And she did not like it one bit. So Gracie, that silly little dog who loved a quiet house, decided to do something naughty. Gracie decided to take a walk all by herself. Someone had left the gates open. Probably a busy painter. Gracie was supposed to be a good dog and never go through that gate by herself. But she did. And when she was halfway down the street, 
she heard someone say loudly, where's Gracie? And that began the great Gracie chase. you think is going to happen? you have an idea? Bet you do. When the painters in the house came outside to find her, and the neighbors came outside, and the garbage man stepped out of his truck, and the paper bag stopped his bike, and the delivery woman pulled over, and everyone said, there's Gracie. Gracie started to run. Gracie did not know why she was running, except that suddenly everyone in the world was trying to catch her, and she did not want to be caught. So Gracie ran down the street, and everybody else ran down the street, too. Gracie ran up the hill, and everybody else ran up the hill. Gracie ran across the schoolyard, and everybody else ran across the schoolyard. Gracie ran through the water fountain, and everybody else ran through the water fountain. Well except the cat, who did not like the water fountains. Kitties don't normally like water. The chase got bigger. Stop that dog, everybody cried, which only made Gracie run faster. And soon the whole town was watching or running in the great Gracie chase. Poor little Gracie. She did not like this walk all by herself. It was too quick and too noisy and all she wanted was to be beside her fish again. But she couldn't stop running now. Everyone wanted to catch her. So she ran and ran and ran until pretty soon the painters had to stop because they couldn't catch their breath. And the delivery woman had to stop because her feet hurt. And the paper boy had to stop because his bike broke. And someone else had to stop because she tripped and fell. And one by one, all the people had to stop because they could not keep up with Gracie. Then suddenly, Gracie realized how quiet everything was again. She looked behind her, and the whole world was quiet. People were resting. How nice, thought Gracie. So that silly little dog turned around and walked back home all by herself. The painters did not return to Gracie's house that day. They had to go take naps. And once again, Gracie had a quiet home. She was happy, that silly little dog.
this was a funny story, but when a lot of times when you go to chase a dog or a cat or some other pets and you run after them, they're going to run even faster. I have a question I wanted to ask you. Do you think Gracie lived in a house with children? It didn't say anything about the people who lived there with her, but we know that somebody lived there with her. But do you think it was a house with children? Why or why not? Think about that. What kind of a house did Gracie like to live in? A quiet house. Are there are boys and girls always quiet? What do you think? You think about that till the next time. Have a good day.